Hi, how are you? My name is Louis Piluso and this is my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about something essential in modern day recording interfaces and we're going to be talking about ADAT digital connections using a Toslink cable. Specifically, we're going to talk about how ADAT works and how we can use it to expand our audio interface and we're going to take advantage and explain it with the new Arturia ADAT Expander, the AudioFuse X8, designed to work with the AudioFuse 16 rig. Let's get started. Well, it has a very nice box. Let's open it. It has the module. Feels very good. It has the orange things as the AudioFuse 16 rig. This is the in that has eight channels in the front. You can change the clock and change the sync. Behind we can find all the inputs, eight of them. We have word clock in, that you should use it as last in your connection. And then you can change the impedance of the clock, which is really nice. You can have a low impedance or high impedance. And then you have ADAT, we have two, which allows you to actually record with eight channels at 96 kilohertz. And you only have to connect two cables, so you can take advantage of the full channel count. And then we have the connection for the power supply. Let's check what other stuff came included in the box. All of these plugins by Arturia are included, which is great. You have an instruction on the box on how to join both interfaces, both modules, I mean. And then we have our power supply. You have to just know that it doesn't come with any optical cables any ADA to toss link so you have to get them yourself and now let's check out what comes with the out module we have another graphic and it tells you how to connect and you can use the recording interface using the ADA out and then the ADA in and then going out to monitors this interface is a great option for who wants to use Dolby Atmos because if you need more than eight channels so you just buy two of these and you can just use them instead of getting a in unit the in is about four hundred dollars and the out is around 350 and it has the same quality as the converters of the af 16 rig and in the front it doesn't have with anything else but the sync buttons and then who you choose as your clock and then you have eight outputs on the back and the switch for low impedance and high impedance clock and then a cool thing is that the power supply comes with a little thingy that you can just lock to your module and the cable won't come out, which is great. So we have both modules and we're going to join them together, which was lots of fun actually to do. It's very easy and it was very smart how they thought about it. So you can actually combine them as you like and just have them as a rack or individually or just get two of one, two of the in or two of the out and just mix and match. So it took me actually like five minutes to do the whole thing. Ready. Super fun. So let's check out the technical specifications of both of these Arturia AudioFuse X8. So they don't offer that many features. It's quite basic, but it's very functional. So if we check out the in module, we'll have eight inputs we can use and they are line inputs. So this is designed for somebody who has a studio with lots of synthesizers, drum machines, or maybe somebody who has outboard gear and wants to use like a lunchbox. Here I have my Quagliardi lunchbox and you can use external preamps and just use this as a converter. But the con, or maybe a con for some people, is that it doesn't offer mic pre's. But if you want mic pre's, you have another version of the ADAT extenders that is called 8 Pre. It has a 20k impedance, then a frequency response from 20 to 20k, dynamic range of 119 dB, THD plus N of minus 112 dB. They both have word clock input, which you can select between 75 ohms, or you can select a high impedance for the clock input. And then the out module offers DC coupled outputs, so you can actually use line outputs to feed your modular synths, which is awesome. So let's check out a little bit the front of this unit. 
So the, the output unit, like, like it only offers sync options. So you can choose between synchronizing via a DAT or using a word clock. But then if we use the in module, we can actually take advantage and we can see four buttons in the front. And we have the first two are arrows to the left and to the right. And we can switch between channels, which is really cool. You can actually add a pad to them, to each channel you want, and you can link them as well if you need. If you long press the pad, it will go active on all of the channels. Same with the link, but if you want to just use a channel individually, you can just select the channel and deactivate any of those two buttons. Then we can actually see the sample rate of the clock right here, and we can select it if we want, but normally it will synchronize by itself. And of course the internal sync or the word clock sync. If you're connecting this with ADAT to an interface, you can just put it as internal here and it will recognize the interface as the main clock. So let's recap a little bit. Th these ADAT connections are very cool to extend your audio interface, but you also have some negatives. Like if you want to work at high sample rates, you get your channel count reduced and maybe you have to use more cables and things like that or more units to get more channels. And the other thing to consider maybe is that if you need an ADAT extender that offers mic pre's, this is not the one for you. But if you are looking for connecting line level instruments like synths and drum machines or external outboard gear like compressors and preamps and stuff this is definitely the one you need because it doesn't offer all of the bells and whistles that you don't want of course i'm going to leave affiliate links below it really helps support the channel it doesn't cost you any more and you don't have to get this one so you can get whatever you need for your studio and please use those those links that really helps me continue doing this kind of work and now I'm going to show you how you connect this to your interface. So in my case, I want to use high sample rates. I normally work at 88K. So what I want to do is connect the X8 in to the ADAT in ports we have on the 16 rig. That means I'm going to use both cables so I can use eight channels at 88K. And the same I'm going to do with the output unit, with the X8 out. I'm going to use the two cables and the two connections offered by Artudia. Once it's connected, it's, your, it already appears on your AudioFuse software control in the computer. So it's very easy to control those channels and use them inside of your door, your recording software. My name is Louis Biluso. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out the video I made of the AudioFuse 16 rig, I'll leave it here on screen. And also I'm going to leave you some other playlists with gear review. And if you want to know another way to sync two different recording interfaces without using ADAT, I'll leave you another video on the screen right here. Thank you for sticking out. Of course, check out the affiliate links and don't forget to subscribe. My name is Louis Peluso and it's been a pleasure.